everyone welcome to my channel if you're new if you're a new subscriber welcome if you're an old subscriber i say welcome and thank you for your support sharing my video and giving it a thumbs up as you watch um in today's video i'll be talking about um study in czech republic yeah, Czech Republic is a country in Europe. Uh, it's a very beautiful country in the middle of Europe with about 10 million inhabitants. That's people living in it. Um, Czech Republic uh, has border with, shares borders with um, Germany, Slovakia, uh, Poland, Austria, um, Germany, Slovakia, Slovak Slovakia, Poland, and Austria. It's a beautiful country, and you can move to Czech Republic via study route, family reunion, or even work pathway. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you um, a school called University, University of um, Liberec. Yes, University of Liberec. The application is starting in November, um, and to end in February subsequent year in the next year so for example if the application is that if you're in 2019 or 2020 application starts in november 2020 till february 2021 so that's what i mean by subsequent year so i'll be looking at my daughter once again because i have the information jotted down as i made the research so as i made the research i took down notes of what and what i want to put together in this video to educate you for who one or two persons or more people who will be interested in this opportunity to go and study in czech republic so um a student to get a student visa you have you can also move with your spouse and family to czech republic czech republic is a safe uh country to go to they also speak english in case you're thinking oh czech republic do they speak english yes they speak english and they have um english um taught courses all right so the application for this school starts from november to february of the following year and the school's name is university of liberec in czech republic so after applying the the closing time of the application is february and two weeks after that or two weeks after that february um, application deadline you'll be notified as to if you got the admission if you have been selected to study or not what are the requirements to go study in this school first you have to uh, you need to pay an application fee of about 100 um, us dollars to make the application um, secondly you need your um, your Czech language document if you have if you know how to speak Czech language or your IELTS documents which people call IELTS English proficiency or TOEFL uh, TOEFL certificates most especially if your study course is taught in English you need your IELTS or your TOEFL certificate Totally, you need your international passport uh, to apply as well. Of course, you have to update or upload or type in your international passport um, number when you're making this application online. Next on my list is your diploma certificate on your transcript. So if you're going for your undergraduate, you need your diploma certificate, you need your um, OIEG and then your IELTS as well. And then if you're going for your master's or PhD, of course, you need your transcript and documented you also have to up upload that as well next you will ask for your cv your cv has to be updated to know where you worked if it's related to the course that you want to go to all right because they want to know if you're in line with what you are going to study as well so your cv has to be up till date can you use uh, the Europass CV as well so if you need it i might be able to share it when you ask for it all right next on the list they'll ask you for a motivation letter in this motivation letter this is where you have to explain to them reason why you want to study this course um your interest as regards to studying this course as well this will be shared in your motivation letter next is going to be your letter from a supervisor that's if you're going for a phd course 
So let me run through the so let me run through the requirements again. First is your application fee of US um, hundred hundred dollars. That's hundred USD. All right. Second is your IELTS uh, IELTS or to fill certificates most especially if your course you're going to study there is going to be taught in english you need that or if it's going to be taught in czech language you need your czech language certificate or document if you actually know how to speak czech language third is your international passport of course you need it to be identified rightly next is your diploma certificate all your transcript if you're going for master's or phd next is your cv that has to be all updated that's up to date all right clear and concise cv you have to send to them when you're doing your application next is your letter from a supervisor that is for phd candidate or phd uh candidates phd people who want to go for their phd in this school university of Liberec. that is the school in Czech Republic. How do you apply? You, I'll put the description of the link to the school website where you can make this application. First, I know is that you download the application form from the site, from the school's website, fill in the form as required, and then submit before deadline. And then you, you know, be optimistic you are going to get it. What are the courses that are linked to this? Um, uh, process to this um, school at this time at this application time november to february for a uh, bachelor's we have textile marketing course i have a production clothing and technical products um textile technology bachelor's in designers and the, uh, in designs rather i beg your pardon and then the rest of them for master's courses we have a master's in industrial engineering, master's in industrial management, master's in text, max, master's in textile and engineering, or master's in textile engineering. For PhD, you just have one course, which is a PhD in textile engineering. So the university again is University of Liberec in Czech Republic. Czech Republic is in Europe with affordable tuition fee. So please note that before you apply, I beg of you, if you're a Nigerian, kindly authenticate, legalize, or notarize your documents. I have a video on my page. It's called Authentication, how to authenticate and legalize your documents. You can scroll through my page and you'll find that video. It's going to be helpful for you. So if you don't meet it up at this time, you can meet it up, meet up this process in the next application opening. They will be having around June. But kindly make sure that you authenticate, legalize, or notarize your document before you place them for application so that your money will not be wasted time will not be wasted energy will not be wasted as well admissions university of liberec i'm gonna put it in the description box so that you can follow the link and then you follow due process so i wish you the best of luck in your study process and your study journey abroad thanks for watching this video to the very end